of Newbridge is the referee and it's Neath and Paul Thorburn going against the wind in this first half. The Welsh full back with a long one straight to Arad Williams. And safely into touch from last Saturday's probables outside half, Aled Williams. So the first line out of the match with Dando at the front jumping number two for Neath. Jeremy Pugh behind and then Barry Clegg, the two main line out jumpers for Neath. Adrian Owen at number two, Gareth Williams at the back of the line out for Bridgend. Untidy ball at the very first line out, and so it'll be a scrum 15 metres infield. Martin Morris of Neath replacing the injured Mark Jones. Just outside the Bridgend 10 metre line. Hatchins with a feed, and it's good possession by Bridgend, well controlled to Alec Williams. That's a testing kick, Thorburn underneath it. And that's the problem uh, that both fullbacks might get in uh, this particular game. The sunlight right in their eyes. So Neath now inside their own half for the first time after the kickoff. Hutchins with a feed on the 10 meter line. Good control by Neath once again. This one meant for Glenn Webb to chase. Back there goes the number 11, Alan Edmonds of Neath. And being harassed, so Edmonds under pressure from Glenn Webb. Glenn Webb, who was so instrumental in getting hold of possession for himself in the Welsh trial. So this dangerously close to the Neath try line, a metre or so. Hutchins with the feed and uh, the referee Don Hughes asking for the put in to be done in, to be thrown in again. Hutchins, formerly of Swansea and South Glamorgan Institute. So referee Don Hughes having a quick word with the two front rows. Good, excellent attacking position for Bridgen. This Hutchins, the control coming from Gareth Williams and Bridgen quite content to hold it inside the scrum and drive Neath back if they can. Neath doing the crabbing, Hutchins releases the ball to Alec Williams. They miss out a man, they miss out two, but it's picked up by the fullback, Peter Goodfellow. But here comes Steve Power for Neath. The charge is on. On the 22 metre line, Gnoyak awaits, finds Thorburn. He's got support outside from Edmonds, yeah. Edmonds chasing. An excellent defensive work by Neath. They grasped the initiative when Bridgen had possession. Ball with the throw, it's not at all accurate. It could be to Neath's advantage, but no, the whistle goes. Hazarding a guess right on the halfway line that Bridgend will be quite satisfied to contain the Neath eight by keeping it tight. Mike having some problems with the alignment of the scrum before the put in. And he's more or less appealing to his own front row just to get it straightened up. Mike, quick feed. Jonathan Davis, miss out a man, but it's a hopefully wayward pass. Pick up on the far side by Elgin Reese, looking for the support, finds it from Lynn Jones. He's always the man there, first to the breakdown, to Jonathan Davis, they've got men spare to Alan Edmonds, it's a chase, could be an opening dramatic try, Edmonds should have the speed to bridge eight, beat the bridge end cover, into the corner, a try for Alan Edmonds, superb rugby. Neath go into the lead, and here's the try scorer, Alan Edmonds. Well, Phil Bennett, great drama in the early moments. Well, a marvellous start by Neath and Neath because they've been under pressure. It's been Bridgend who have been attacking. But it's good ball by Nyak. It's the first long pass by Jonathan Davis. 
It goes astray, but Elgin Reese does well. He tidied his, tidies it up. But look who's there, number seven, Liam Jones. What a player he is. Always on the ball. He's important. He makes the ball available. And here's the crucial. Watch this pass. There's the long pass missing Glenn Webb out, and it's straight out to Alan Edmonds. And he's going. Alan Edwards is trying, trying very well. He won't get there. And Edmonds is in the corner. Magnificent try. The conversion from Paul Thorburn is an accurate runner from the corner of the field. And there's the famous Thorburn salute signifying that it was a successful kick. And Neath, you see, running it in midfield, Lynn Jones setting it up, number seven. Look at him, he's there everywhere. And it's the quick ball, they're so quick, the Neath forwards. Now, the year is the pass that clinches it. Lovely long pass, and you see Glenn Webb was left in no man's land. Alan Edmonds puts his head back. Williams is trying to get him, but you're not going to catch the winger. He's flying over the corner, a magnificent try. So down they go for this scrum in the muddiest part of the ground. So the studs don't help, but away comes Hutchins. Clev Webb giving chase. Ball goes out. And so it'll be a dropout, 22. Charlton Davis to drop out against the wind and also the sunshine. <laughs> Asking Don Hughes, the referee, to clear the path. That's why, because he'd uh, sighted open spaces. The pickup by Goodfellow for Bridge End. The left footed Gary Owen down towards the 10 metre line. Phil Pew underneath it, but misses it at the first time of asking. Royak quickly to Thorburn, and here's the try scorer, and then Edwards up against Glenn Webb. Doesn't get past his man this time, and suddenly it's picked up by Jones for Bridgen, and a lovely interception. Steve Graben, rather, the try scorer. That's a good kick by Goodfella, but Neath win the ball. It's a long pass again by Thorburn, but good tackling by Webb, and here's where it goes astray. And good opportunity by Graben, 22 metres to go. Nayak trying his best, but a good try for Bridgen. 13 minutes gone, six points to four to Neath. Wayne Hall with the throw, an orthodox line out. And up goes Adrian Owen. And Jeff Jenkins being charged with the legalities of the line out and giving some back chat to the referee Don Hughes and conceding 10 yards. So it's Jonathan Davis. And uh, the kick's tending to be a little wayward. Good fellow. Not a great distance, but a problematic kick. Stuart Evans tries to get a hand to it, and neath handed Jeremy Pugh right underneath the ball. And a headbutt by Ian Stevens against Stuart Evans. The two players being called over. The retaliation, plain to see. Well, Ian Stevens on his 350th appearance for the club, being given a stern lecture by referee Don Hughes. Plenty of tension here. It's, they squared up each other. Evans to Stevens, and there's the head, but smack in there. Come on. Come in. Out on the 22. All in. All in. All in. Jen Scrum holding out well. Alan Williams. Well, there's nobody over there. Thorburn's got to uh, retrace his steps. The ball goes loose and eventually minored by Alan Edmonds. So Alan Williams lining up on the outside. Might see an attempt at a drop goal. But they've gone on the short side and bringing in the extra man on the far side. It's going to be a try for Bridgend and that one scored by Andrew Jones. The decoy move to Alec Williams, working perfectly. A tremendous scrum ball by Bridget. And look at Gareth Williams, his expertise in there. And there's Andrew Jones, who's come across from the, the other side, forces him over for a good Bridget try. 
we can see it again from a different angle and look at Gareth Williams he takes a man out to the game they takes the scrum off and good running by your chins there's the lovely pass there's half a gap there but he still shows determination Pugh tries to stop him but the young centre goes over so the kick to come from Andrew Jones trying to add an extra two points to the four already scored by him Kicking a little bit difficult on the heaviness of the ground, but he stuck that well, and it's an extra two points for Bridgend. Bridgend well and truly take the lead. So again, it's an attacking lineup for Bridgend, despite the fact that it's Kevin Phillips of Leith to throw in. Adrian Owen having done well at the front of the lineout for Bridgend. This time, it's Leith ball. Like back and here's the enterprise of Jonathan Davis. He's seen a bit of space there. Lynn Jones takes the ball beautifully, but was in front of the ball. The, the crowd disagree with Don Hughes. And there's a little bit of friction between Gareth Williams and Jonathan Davis of all people on that far side. And that all results in a penalty to Pregent. So a relatively simple matter this for Andrew Jones. Smack in front of the post, right footed, but he's, <laughs> well, it's gone over eventually. So the luck with Bajen certainly at the moment. The North crowd to make the decision. 13 points to six. Thank you in the middle of the line out towards the tail. Calling the action. Hutchins trying to sneak away on the short side, not finding much room there. And away from me, and it's Dando, grounded just outside the 22. It's Leith Grumble in as a penalty. With Jen going over the top. So 30 metres the distance. And it's very heavy indeed from where Paul Thorburn is about to attempt this penalty for three points. And he struck it well. Well, it wasn't the most elegant of kicks, but it was straight and true. And that, Bridgen, that brings Leith back into the game to 13 points to nine. And they go for a scrum almost midway between the 22 and the halfway line in the sunlight at the Nol Gnoyak to Jonathan Davis. The right foot, and Jonathan Davis is kicking, line kicking, not all that accurate. Good fellow. With the reply, Jeremy Pugh wondering where on earth the ball might be. And through goes Glenn Webb. Will he get a try? Glenn Webb gets hold of the ball. Lynn Jones taps it, and the ball goes dangerously loose. It comes to Edwin, the try scorer, but will be called back. Oh, great frustration for Bridgend. And it's a bad kick again by Jonathan Davis. He's not kicked well, and it's all good for the does. He's put it up in the air, but notice you'll see who's going to get the ball, and it's Phil Pugh, the prop Jeremy Pugh. He doesn't want to know, and it's bad sloppy play by the Neath defence. And there's Webb flying up, and it's odds on he's going to score a try here. But watch how he kills the ball when he sees that Edmonds is getting there. Good play by Webb. He lays it back. Lynn Jones gets back there. Now, Bridgend, they're in, in numbers. There's the forward pass, and Mr. Hughes is right on the spot. But that was the last moment of interest in the first half, and we rejoin the match now a little way into the second half. Again, it's aimed for Adrian Owen, and through goes the Bajen skipper. Mayak in trouble. Now well, for the match with such tension, it's been fairly clean. At that time, there was a show of temperament. Thorburn, the angle is acute. Some 36 metres. Struck it, it's a high kick. The crowd behind says it's an accurate one, so too do the touch judges. And there's now just a point in it. Pujen just in the lead by 13 points to 12. So Phil Pugh retires, the man in the probables last Saturday, and on in place of him comes the neath hooker, Mike Richards. It's going to be a Gary Owen. 
Good fellow underneath, the sunlight in his eyes does well though, does the full back, but Neath are there in droves. And here it goes from young Kevin Phillips. Tries to go around with the Gen 3 quarters offside. And it's a gift of a penalty. Well, for Paul Thorburn, they don't come much simpler. Right in front of the post. And this regains the lead for Neath. So the lead has changed three times. We always expected a close game between these traditional rivals. Stuart Evans underneath. Noyak worming his way on the short side. Lynn Jones in full cry. And Steve Powell goes rushing through. Good fellow. The brave fullback underneath the ball again, but under pressure. But the whistle goes at the vital moment. And Jonathan Davis is absolutely furious with the referee. Yes, I can well imagine his frustration there. They'd overlap a 4 to 1, and as the ball came back, he blew up for the scrum. Gnoyak with a feed deep inside the Bridgen 22. Jonathan Davis. Will he go for another dramatic try? Oh, it's a textbook try, and exactly the same type of try that he scored against Bath. On his own, Jonathan Davis. One minute, he's furious with the, ref with the referee. Now he's all smiles. Just sit back, look what he's done. He's come to the narrow side again and brought Alan Williams with him. But look at his pace, he goes on the outside and Williams is no slouch, but he leaves him for dead in between the wing over another magnificent Davis try. Just enjoy this from the other angle. Just watch his pace, takes the ball. Alan Williams comes up to him, but he goes on the outside. Look how quick he is. He just leaves Alan Williams standing. Shows the dummy in between and he's over for a great try. Well, what a reversal of fortunes. Bridgen did the lead at half-time. Now look at it, 19 points to 13, Neath lead. So can Neath hold on to this 100% ground record? First man to the action. In go Neath. They want the ball. Breck is back on the Bridgen side to Gareth Williams. And a deft little kick by the number eight, a right footed one. Eases the pressure. Well, for the amount of time that Neath has spent down in this quarter, it speaks volumes for the Bridgen defence. That they've kept them to this 19 points to 13 score. Because back on the neat side, Kevin Phillips releases the ball to Knoyak. Knoyak, the chip. Hutchins is back there, and Hutchins has found some ground and some space if the centers can get up to him. Andrew Jones takes hold of the ball, but he's got no one with him. And as they dwell in the quagmire, it's going to be a scrum. And that's what Saturday afternoons are all about. Hutchins about to put the ball in. Jeremy Few packs down on the far side. Leonard Williams. Now they release the ball to grab him to Glenn Webb. He's not going to get very far. But now he releases the ball and awakens Alan Williams. A nice little kick into the neath half. Thorburn is back there. The counter attack is on. And there's a late tackle on that far side. And when Thorburn comes away, he puts a left footer in. And there's just a late push by John Jenkins. Crazy just decision by Jenkins because it's going to cost them three points. 
So a fair old distance for Paul Thorburn, considering the uh, heaviness of the ground. Going for the angle, 37 metres. Well, he struck it, he's given a mighty whack, and it's there. Success in the second half for Paul Thorburn, his fourth penalty. And that takes the score to 22 points to 13 in neat favour. A minute into injury time, Alan Williams restarts. Jeremy Pugh, possibly the smallest forward on the field, takes hold of the kick. Kevin Phillips might dispute that fact. Mayak to Jonathan Davis. <laughs> that is sheer arrogance. But he enjoyed it. Paul goes up high. And it's a penalty, Adrian Owen being held in the line-out. Hutchins to Anand Williams. Let's run it, Sabre Jen, with nothing to lose. Peter Goodfellow doing well, up to the 10-metre line, if you can find the support. Wayne Hall calling for the ball. But the Jen unable to release it at the crucial time, and indeed lose the ball to Jonathan Davis. What's he going to do with it this time? Just about gets away from uh, two tackles. Dark. Well, it's a nasty little kick. Now it goes out on the full. Referee Don Hughes having a look at his watch, and that indeed is the final whistle. Neath keep their 100% record and get the double over Bridgend this season.